In this lecture, again, we are going to talk about a real-time application which I have developed on code.org using the basic features available over there. Now, um, how an admin can access uh, the admin panel on this app? He just have to hit this button, this image button over here. Hello, admin. Welcome to this panel. And automatically he's going to get redirected on this beautiful screen fine now if a person wants to visit admins home so he has to first create his profile on this platform okay so the second device on which I'm going to create the visitors profile this the admin has to install outside his gate okay so that whoever visits his home can get his profile verified first by the admin and after that only he can enter into his house. Hi, please hit me. So this is the screen the user is going to come across when he will access the user's panel. Now what the user has to do, he has to hit this uh, beautiful chat board over here. Please upload your photograph here. And then he can upload his photo first using this photo select button. So for now I am uploading, um, let's upload uh, this photo. Okay, once the user is done with uploading the photo, he need to hit this chat board again. Please enter your name here. And automatically this input text bo box is going to appear like this where he is required to input his name. So I'm going to enter this name for now. And once he's done with entering the name, he can hit this chat board again. Please enter your complete address here. Okay, I now the user is required to enter his complete address over here. So I am entering this one for now. Okay, let's hit this chat board again and see what's gonna happen. Please enter your purpose of visit here. Okay, purpose of visit. So, purpose, let's say interview. Okay, now let's hit this submit button and see what is going to happen. Whether this admin will be able to receive a notification in real time on his panel or not. Thanks for submitting the required information. Hi boss. We have successfully notified Someone the admin is waiting about outside. you. Okay, Hi boss. Someone is waiting outside. Kindly instruct me what to do. So as you can see, uh, this profile of Nilu Garg is uh, getting reflected over here in real time. Fine. Uh, now what the admin has to do, he can select any of these two options. If he want, if he would like to allow this user to enter into his house, what he can do, he can hit this first image. Let's see what is going to happen. How the user is going to get the notification of uh, this permission which the this admin is going to give him okay so so this is the kind of screen the user is going to come across uh, which clearly means that the admin has allowed him to enter into his house. Fine. Now let's create one more profile on this uh, platform. We need to hit this image here. Hi, please hit me. Okay. Please upload your photograph here. I'm uploading a photograph again. So this time I am going to upload, um, let's upload this one. Please enter your name here. Please enter your complete address here. Please enter your purpose of visit here. I am here to fight. Let's submit the response. Thanks for submitting the required Hi, information. Boss. Someone, Someone is waiting, waiting outside. Kindly notified the admin about Kindly you. Kindly instruct me what to do. He will respond very soon. Hi boss. Someone is waiting outside. So as you can see. Kindly instruct me what to do. So as you can see again the admin has received uh, this 
response um, in real time over here on his respective panel. Let's say the admin doesn't want this person to enter into his house. So what he can do, he can hit this second image which is getting reflected over here on his panel. Let's see what kind of notification this person is going to get when the admin will hit this image over here. Okay, so this is what the person will get to see on the screen. Okay, and he will definitely run away on seeing this. Now, suppose if this admin would like to check out the logs which have got created on this beautiful app. How can he do that? So what doing that, what he can do, he can hit this book over here. Automatically, he's you going may to check the details of all the visitors here. Automatically, he's going to get redirected on this beautiful animated screen. Now from here, he can, uh, you know, hit this drop down and he'll get to see uh, the purposes over here. Now, I suppose you want to check out the people, names of the people who visited admin for the interview. What he can do, he can select interview from here. And when he'll hit this button, he will be able to see the name of the person and the address of that person getting reflected in these two input boxes. Now, if you want to delete uh, the this entry, so what he can do, he can hit this delete button. And now the entry... You deleted the record successfully. Okay, the record has got successfully deleted. Now, when he will hit this uh, drop down button again, he will not be able to see that interview thing again in this drop down. If suppose he want to get back on the admin panel, he can hit this button and he will you are be back on the admin screen. Back on this admin screen. You know, that's how this app works. Now let's check out the code which I have made use of for developing this beautiful app on code.org. So this is a code which I have made use of. Now this is the first screen the user is going to come across. Okay, and all these elements will not be visible to this uh, user when he will come on this user screen. Where is that user screen? Okay, this is the one. Fine, when, he'll, when the user will come on this screen, he will not be able to see all these elements which are visible to you right now. Why? Just because I have made use of this hide element property for hiding them all. Okay. Now, uh, let's talk about what is going to happen when the user, if, if he's an admin and he want to access this admin panel. So, this is the first screen. He will, he's going to come across. Now, when he'll hit this button over here, automatically, this is a code which is going to get executed. And automatically he is going to get redirected on this beautiful admins panel similarly if it's a user he can hit this button image uh, this user button and automatically he's going to get redirected on this user screen which is screen one fine and then i have made use of this uh, counter variable over here now if the value of x is equal to equal to one then this photo select button will be visible to the user with which he can upload his photograph and rest all the elements will be uh, hidden. Similarly, when he will tap this chat board again, the value of X is going to get incremented by two. And if it will become equal to two, then the name box will be visible to the user where he can enter his name. And if the value of X is equal to three, then the address box will be visible to the user. Similarly, when the value of X will become four, the purpose box will be visible to the user and the submit button will also be visible to the user. Finally, when he will hit the submit button, a table with name users is going to get created where everything, whatever the user has entered is going to get saved. In real time, a notification will be received by this, uh, you know, by this admin on his panel. Okay, with the help of this code which I've defined over here and everything will be visible to the admin over here in these four components 
Fine, now if the admin will hit this image 4 button, automatically what will happen? This code is going to get executed according to which a table is going to get created in which the permission will be there. Whether the admin has allowed the user or not. So if it is allow, what is going to happen? Uh, the user is going to get redirected on this uh, screen, screen 4 and if the permission is equal to equal to deny then the user will get redirected on this screen. Again, uh, simultaneously he will be able to hear a voice also from the background accordingly. And now let's come on, come on this part uh, which is going to help the user in checking out the logs, uh, in checking out the entries. So when the user will hit this book over here, he's going to get redirected on this beautiful screen, screen 3, okay, where he can uh, check out the entries in the drop down. And accordingly, when he will hit this uh, button, the relevant entry will be visible to the admin over here in these two input boxes. Now, if he want to delete the entries, what he can do, he can hit this delete button and this is the code which is going to get executed. All the entries will be deleted uh, when the admin will hit this delete button. Fine. And similarly, if suppose he want to come back, go back on the admin panel, what he can do, he can hit this back button and he will get redirected on this screen too. Fine. That's how I have created this beautiful app on code.org using the basic features of app lab hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot do like and subscribe to my channel and also share the link of this video in your group so that more and more students can join in and enjoy these free online coding classes also if you want to avail the coding classes facility you, are, you guys are most welcome to do that you just have to contact me on my respective phone number 9891665634 and get yourself registered for the online coding classes that I provide on Zoom platform. Thank you very much. God bless you and Namaste. Have a great day.